Scientists in Birmingham have invented a gadget to look for infection and for antibiotic resistance in patients. It turns a two-day process involving a lab into a simple test that could be carried out in a GP surgery, which has to be good news for all of us. Our science correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, is here to explain it all. And is that a traditional testing lab just behind you there, David? It is indeed, Nick, yes. This is the lab conducting blood tests at Heartlands Hospital in Birmingham. It's highly automated and very efficient, but the whole testing process can still take a few days. Now, researchers at Birmingham have condensed that process into a simple test that takes about a minute and could be done at your local chemist's. But the idea is to have something that's extremely easy to use, very minimal training. You take a sample, put the cartridge in the reader and press go and that's it. And this is the prototype machine. To start with, the team are focusing on a test for urinary tract infections. The machine can take a urine sample and tell if you're infected, and also if that infection is resistant to certain antibiotics, allowing doctors to target treatment more effectively. So, how does it all work? Well, the urine is mixed with some clever chemistry. These molecules here, represented by some very long black lines. They're called bacteriophage M13. Now, usually they line up, but if there's an infection, then this part of the molecule, the red triangles here, well they lock onto the infection and they basically become all higgledy-piggledy. There they go. Now, and that gives the machine a result it can actually detect, a positive result. And by tweaking the red triangles, you could test for other things too. So in the new test, they also check to see if the infection is resistant to common antibiotics. So what does all that mean for patients? Well, what that means is hopefully it means that they'll be getting better more quickly. It means they'll have less symptoms, but importantly, the risk of them developing a serious infection should be reduced as a result. Now, lots of bugs are becoming more resistant to antibiotics, and one reason is because we take them when they just don't work. This new test changes that by helping doctors quickly find the best antibiotic for the job. It's good news for patients, but also a clever new tool in the fight against antibiotic resistance. Nick. David, thank you.